bananas. Bananas are a fruit, a fruit that's known as a berry in the world of fruit types. There are many fruits that are berries. Bananas, of which there are many varieties in Pompeii, are the fruiting body of the banana tree. Angiosperms, the flowering plants, produce fruit. Fruit that typically contains seeds for reproduction. This distinguishes them from the gymnosperms. The gymnosperms produce seeds, but the seeds are not inside of a fruit. Now, of course, in the case of bananas, the seeds are no longer viable. They're small black dots in the banana, and you can't plant them to get a new banana. There are many, many varieties of banana on Pompeii, and they're all produced by replanting the rhizome at the base of the tree. This is how you get new bananas. But for the angiosperms, they produce flowers and fruit, fruit that contain a seed. Some of these angiosperms, the seeds might be very, very small, and the fruit equally small around it, but they are still in the angiosperms. Now, there are some things in the grocery store that we tend to think of as vegetables, but they're actually fruit in the world of botany. Red peppers, green peppers, the so-called bell peppers, and the hot peppers are all fruit in the world of botany. They contain seeds, and here we see some stuffed green fruit. The hot peppers, such as this habanero pepper, are also fruits. These are cayenne peppers and yap that are also a fruit. Fruits include cherries. Cherries are a berry. Those are Suriname cherries. And there's other things that are referred to as cherries. The berries of the coffee plant are called cherries. Those are coffee cherries. The coffee bean is the seed inside the coffee cherry. Coffee cherries contain the bean inside the seed. There are also some fruit that we don't eat. Uh, Premna obtusifolia produces these green and black fruit. They're not eaten, but they are used medicinally. Kiwi fruit is also a fruit, as is papaya. Papaya is a berry. It is a berry along with the cherries, as is star fruit, known as ansu here on Pompeii. It too is a berry. Tomatoes. Tomatoes are a fruit along with the cucumber behind it, but that's a different type of fruit. And Garcinia xanthochymus, false mangosteen, also a berry. Our last berry is eggplant. That's a berry too. So that wraps up the berries. Now we move on to the second type of fruit, the pepples. Pepples have thick outer rinds, the watermelons, the cantaloupes. These are berries along with the squashes. Cucumbers also get placed into this category. They get tossed in even though they don't really have a thick rind. We actually eat the rind is what we're doing. Winter melon, known as uh, dongan in uh, Koshai, is also a pepple, as are the squashes. And of course, uh, the pumpkin is in this group of fruit. Also, this type of fruit includes pumpkin. Watermelon is a favorite in the pepo family of fruits. And occasionally, bananas get put into the pepos depending on the classification system uh, one chooses to use. So bananas also wind up in the pepo group sometimes. The third type of fruit we'll look at is the Hesperidiums. The Hesperidiums include all of the citrus fruits, the oranges, the lemons, the limes, these are key limes uh, from the word, use of the word key as a small island, as in Florida Keys. Uh, these also include fruit like the calamansi fruit. is also a Hesperidium fruit. Our next type of fruit, uh, beyond the Hesperidium, the leathery rind fruits, the next type are the droops. Droops are ones that have a central stone, like mango. There's a large seed in the center. It's referred to as a stone, but it's actually the seed of the mango. Mango is a uh, fruit rich in vitamin A and vitamin C. And so it's uh, a very healthy fruit and a good thing to raise children on. But the droops also include 
nutmeg, and nutmeg is a droop, uh, and gets included in this er also. Uh, the stone in the center is the nutmeg itself. Also included in this group, coconuts. Coconuts get put into droops. Like the bananas, there are many, many kinds of coconuts here in Micronesia. And all the parts of the coconut find use in one way or another out here in Micronesia. They are come in a variety of colors, shapes, and sizes. And indeed, coconuts are the tree of life. If an island doesn't have coconuts, you cannot live on that island. Coconuts are a sign that the island that you're on is an inhabitable island and you can survive there. They're loaded with electrolytes, which has been discovered by the exercise industry, and I would be remiss if I didn't mention that coconuts are also useful for body oil and cooking oil, quite frankly. Legumes, beans and peas, those are fruits too. Believe it or not, rice is also a fruit. It's a fruit type called a grain. Rice is the fruit of the rice plant. Grasses produce a fruit called a caryopsis. That's the type of fruit. This is Saccharum spontaneum. Those are the fruit there. They're not particularly edible, I'm afraid. And then there's a nuts. This is a Tahitian chestnut, known as morap. Here, a crack on Koshai, but morap here on Pompey. Inocarpus vegifer. These are nuts. They're fruits also. Then we move into fruit that have one flower and many ovaries, like soursop and black raspberries. They're called aggregate fruits. Uh, one flower produces multiple ovaries that form the final fruit. Last are the multiple fruits. These are fruits where there's multiple flowers, like this pineapple. Those little purple things are the flowers. Each segment of the pineapple was a flower. Breadfruit is also a multiple fruit and a very important one here. Technically, in the world of diet, it's a starch for uh, food purposes, but in botany, it's a fruit, and there are seeds in some types of coconuts. So, both the co uh, sorry, in the seeds, uh, some breadfruit have seeds that can be planted. Marinda citrifolia is also a multiple fruit, as is pandanus. Uh, which also contains beta-carotene and vitamin A precursors, as are mulberries, but uh, those are actually in Wisconsin, not here. Strawberries, which also aren't found in Micronesia, but strawberries are also in the multiple fruits. Okay, there are strawberries in Micronesia, but they're found on skirts. And that wraps up kind of a quick and light look at the different fruit types that are out there. Take a look around you and see what food types you see in the world around you.